Well, good morning. This is Dave Jones with Storm Center Communications and Geo Collaborate. This update on this August 31st, Thursday, 2023, is for the All Hazards Consortium and the Fleet Response Working Group to help coordinate the movement of fleet utility vehicles and the coordination of states uh, with information through the sensitive information sharing environment. Uh, we have an active uh, day, not only in North Carolina and the recovery from Florida to Georgia, to South Carolina, and into North Carolina because of uh, major Hurricane uh, Idalia. Idalia is now a tropical storm moving over eastern North Carolina, where it's causing storm surges of two to four feet throughout the Pamlico Sound and the Outer Banks area. Uh, winds are still very gusty there, uh, even gusty winds on to up to southeast Virginia, the mouth of the Chesapeake Bay, and even over to Maryland's eastern shore and the beaches there in Delaware. Uh, but we do have an active uh, tropics. I just want to point this out uh, to you real quickly. Uh, we do have, and I'll take this full screen here. Look at that. We have Tropical Storm Idalia, which is plaguing eastern North Carolina. It will be moving out over the next several hours, but leaving flooding in its wake. We have Hurricane Franklin. Franklin just um, gave Tropical Storm Force winds to Bermuda. That is heading away now. And we have Tropical Storm Jose, the newest in the line of tropical storms that have been named. That was named at 5 a.m. this morning by the National Hurricane Center. And we have the remnants of Tropical Storm Gert. Gert uh, was um, looking like it was dissipating, but now it's uh, starting to show some more circulation as a uh, depression, but it may be uh, picked up again as a tropical storm. There's not a big chance for that to happen, but thank goodness, remaining in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, as well as Tropical Storm Jose. Uh, and then look at all the way over to Africa, coming off the African coast by the Cape Verde Islands, we have Invest 94L. 94L is showing some promise for development, uh, but fortunately, uh, some of the latest forecasts show uh, that that invest uh, will be turning up to the northwest uh, into um, the central part of the eastern Atlantic. Let me take you closer to home, and that is uh, with GeoCollaborate here in eastern North Carolina. You can see where uh, the center of Tropical Storm Idalia is now off the coast, but it is causing a very strong northeasterly winds gusting into Tropical Storm Force range and uh, causing quite a bit of storm surge on the sound side of the Outer Banks of North Carolina and also on the Outer Banks of North Carolina, uh, where the waves, uh, again, are coming over, uh, at least the ocean coming over Route 12. Uh, that's a common occurrence there. We also have some heavy rain that's occurring in eastern North Carolina, along with southeastern Virginia, extreme southeastern Virginia. Uh, as uh, Idalia moves off the coast, that threat will diminish, but the heavy rains that have been left behind uh, are certainly going to cause uh, flooding problems in North Carolina throughout the course of the day. We've had rainfall totals anywhere from uh, three to six inches of rain and some heavy downpours there as the tropical storm moved through South Carolina and then off the coast of North Carolina. So as uh, tropical storm Idalia exits the picture from the eastern United States, uh, we're talking about fleet response happening uh, all throughout the United States coming into Florida, Georgia, and uh, parts of South Carolina. So we'll be keeping you posted. Uh, that's the way it looks uh, during the day uh, today. Uh, this will be the last video update on Tropical Storm Idalia. We're keeping our eyes on the tropics. As you saw, uh, they are very active. Uh, but fortunately, there looks to be no threat to the United States from any tropical activity over the next seven days. We'll be keeping you posted. I'm Dave Jones with Storm Center Communications and GeoCollaborate. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you soon.